And what is up, guys? It is Christ, and we are back with another reaction. Sorry for that, a little bit of a screw up in the intro. This is going to be Metallica's Dyer's Eve. This is one of my favorite songs by Metallica in total, and uh, I'm excited to get into the reaction. There is not going to be a lot of pauses in this. This is a live video, and uh, they don't tend to copyright, or at least they are a lot looser with the copyright claims on these uh, live videos. I've definitely got a couple, but they don't they don't generally do anything. And for by all means, if they want to make money off my videos, go ahead. I'm only doing this for fun. And uh, with that out of the way, we are going to go ahead and react to Dyer's Eve. There was a lot more dislikes on the last reaction. I'm assuming because I uh, named the video incorrect, and I may have said some incorrect things in the song, but that's all right. And we're going to get started in three, two, one. This was back in 2004, uh, I believe right after now St. Anger was released. It's like Metallica's up here to have a good time, and uh, this is a song we haven't played in 100 years. I don't think we've ever played it before, so okay. here we go. Is this a live debut? Song. I'm gonna pause it before it gets into the first verse. Definitely, this is uh, this is pretty good. I'm uh, I'm a little bit surprised. I think. Let me know. Correct me if if uh, I'm wrong. But is this? I'm thinking this is the live debut because of what he said. Um, I I could be wrong, and I have been wrong in the past. Um, but I would like to know if this was their live debut. Uh, I don't really keep track of like what they have done post uh. Well, prior to like 2010, that's when I really started listening to them. I've been listening to Metallica most of my, well, I shouldn't say most, I'd say most of my uh, adult life and uh, teenage years I've been listening to Metallica, but um, I don't really check out much of their live videos much. So uh, this is definitely top quality, and uh, Dyer's Eve is definitely one of my favorite songs lyric-wise. Uh, there's some things I, uh, I definitely agree with, and some things I don't, but uh, for the most part, I love this song. I hate to do that in the middle of a riff, but honestly, you're not going to be able to find any good pauses in this. Definitely, uh... I was expecting his vocals to be a little uh, more sloppy, I guess. Uh, I definitely heard uh, some live videos between Saint Anger and then um, like a little bit after Death Magnetic, and his vocals were definitely not the greatest. Uh, he had spent like well over a decade constantly touring, except for I think the uh, the Saint Anger one, not the Saint Anger, the uh, Death Magnetic album recording. So 
For the most part, Metallica is touring machines. They've toured uh, well over probably 25 years out of their uh, 30, almost 40 years of uh, touring. So they've definitely been touring most of the time, or at least half the time. Um, definitely top quality performance from them for sure. I don't know if this is their first time uh, playing it live. It definitely doesn't sound like it. But uh, I definitely want to hear what the solo is like. So we're going to continue. I love this uh, pre-chorus. Actually, this is the verse. No chorus, sorry. So um, there were some thoughts I want to give a little bit a uh, little bit of backstory. Uh, I can definitely relate to this song. Um, without uh, going into too much detail, I definitely uh, have experienced some of this that uh, that he's talking about, um, but definitely not to this extreme. From what I understand, his parents were pretty uh, were pretty strict and almost heretical when it comes to their uh, to their faith and that kind of stuff. And my my parents definitely were not like that. My mom actually. My uh, we're not going to get into what happened with my father. But um, I definitely have experienced like over sheltering and that kind of stuff. And as a result, uh, like there's things that I didn't know that I should have known by this, by this age. And I was never taught. And um, I never had a real like strong father um, figure in my life. So I definitely connect with this song. And uh, it, that's definitely why it's one of my favorites. Without your shelter, There it is. This marks my favorite part of the song. Confess the place that still made. close to a monitor, didn't you? So definitely have some uh, thoughts on uh, this. Um, I definitely think this is a top tier performance. Uh, I did notice a couple little um, screw ups, but uh, that, that's totally to be expected. No artist is absolutely perfect. Um, it just, it comes with the territory. You're never gonna be completely perfect, perfectly flawless. 
uh, with uh, with doing live music. Sure, you can edit out mistakes in the studio, but you can't exactly do it live. Um, definitely top quality performance. There's a little bit more to go, so we'll definitely listen to the rest of it. Okay, never mind. Okay, apparently I didn't need to uh, continue that. So I guess <laughs> that's going to be part of the review. Uh, so I guess I'll get to the, um, to the review part of this video. Definitely top uh, quality, um, definitely top quality performance, at perform performance, performance. I definitely noticed a couple of hiccups uh, in the intro. Who's, they were a little bit sloppy, but they definitely got their groove uh, going as the song progressed. Uh, they, one of them, I don't know who it was, but definitely one of them got a little bit too close to the monitor because um, there was a huge loud ringing. Uh, also, I definitely noticed uh, Rob. Rob's looking a little bit different here. I think this is back when he first started uh, playing in Metallica. So that's uh, pretty cool to see. Uh, I thought the guitars were... Uh, I would prefer if Metallica played in standard like the rest of their songs. But I understand why they don't because it's easier on his voice. I'm pretty sure that's the reason at least. Um... Don't really have anything bad to say about the song other than uh, there was a couple hiccups, but that, that comes with the territory. So with that out of the way, I'm going to rate this about a pretty solid 9.5. I definitely enjoyed it. I think it was top top, top quality. And uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and make sure you uh, like. If you want to see more Metallica reactions, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, please recommend in the comments uh, what uh, live reactions you want me to check out by Metallica. I have heard every single one of their songs up to Hardwired. I cannot do a reaction unless it's uh, Garage Inc. or something like that. So if you guys want to see some Garage Inc. reactions, make sure you uh, drop it in the comments. And uh, with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. This has been Christ. I'll see you guys next time.